Hello ladies, hello gents, thank you for being here today. My name is Mira Skinner and you know that I do not take your presence here for granted. If you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell. That way you know when we have new uploads. And if you've been watching me guys and you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please go ahead and subscribe and so that we can grow this ministry. This is a ministry guys. We can grow this channel. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for the likes, for the share, for the comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you all so much. So, on today's video, we are going to be talking about how to find the right man to marry. Yes, I know that this is not the kind of topic that people talk about often, but because in our world today, you always hear someone saying, Oh, I'm looking for a wife material. You hear mothers say, Oh, you're not the wife material for my son. Sisters will go ahead and say, You're not the wife material for my brother. But what about being a husband material for somebody? What about being the right man that a woman can choose? Because it's not only a man that chooses to marry a woman. A woman, if she says no, then there will be no marriage. If a woman says no, there will be no relationship. So you both choose each other. A man chooses a woman and a woman chooses a man. That is how it works. It is not one-sided like the world has portrayed. So today's video, I will be showing the woman how to choose a man to marry. There are so many good men out there because the majority of the things that we hear today is men as calm, men are not worth the stress, men are not worth it, the, you can do without them, women say they can do without men, they say they can do without getting married because there is no good man out there, that is not true. There are so many good men out there, it is just the one that you're choosing that is the wrong man. And the reason why you're choosing this wrong man is stems from so many things. Because I do understand that every woman, at one point in your life, you had a fantasy. Especially for the women that want to marry. At one point in your life, you had a fantasy. You said maybe you want a chocolate man. Maybe you want a vanilla man. Some people, they love men that are tall, dark, and handsome. Some people love men that are just average height. They don't care about the height. They care about the man's pocket. They care about the man, the way he looks, the way he talks, the way he carries himself. There are many, many criteria that people have labeled on men that don't want. And most women, they do not compromise. Because they have said they want this man that is too tall, dark, blue eyes, and six pack, they are looking only for that spec. Because when they see another man that shows interest in them, they don't show the man any interest because they feel like, oh, this man is not my spec. There is no reason why I should be dating this man. That is wrong. All these answers that you give about the man that you want to marry, those are superficial. Those are not the kind of things that you have to be looking when you're looking for a man to marry or when you're choosing a man to marry. You have to look for a man that has depth. And for you to be able to see a man that has depth, you have to be a wise woman. You have to forget about all the superficial aspects of this man. You have to look at the man where he is right now and where he is going to because there are some people out there that they don't want you to have to do anything with a man that does not have money but if you're looking for a man to marry and you want to choose a man solely because this man has money you are going on the wrong path because if you meet a man that is already made i'm not saying that marrying a man that is already made is not a good thing if you meet a man that is already made and has all the qualities of a good man then that's a bonus but if you meet a man that is a good man and what do I mean by a good man? A man that is somewhere and has his head right on his head. A man who has a destination that he's going to. Because everyone that has a destination is walking towards going to that place. If you see a man that is like that, a man who, when he says yes, it is yes. If a man that says no, it is no. A man that you can trust his word. That's the kind of man that you want to choose to marry. Because forget about the physical aspects of this man. If you concentrate on the physical aspect of this man, this will fail. Because even the Bible tells us that beauty is vain. These are the kind of things that will fail. When looking for a man to marry, you have to look for things in a man that cannot be bought with money. Because money is something that you will get down the line. Money is something that it comes and it goes. It's a commodity. Look for something that cannot be bought with money. Because the world that we are living in today is so advanced in such a way that if you're looking for somebody and you just want to look at the physical aspects of this person, you're going wrong. Those things can be bought down the line. 
If you want the man to have six pack, it can be bought. If you want this man to look a certain kind of way, bourgeoisie, it can be bought. That is something that money can buy. But look for the aspects that money cannot buy, like the man's character, the man's zeal, the way he treats other people, the way he treats you. Those are the kind of things that you look for in a man. Because we, as women, we have been so, so living in a la-la land that we forget to understand that there comes a time in a man's life that he is going to make it if he does not have money right now. He's going to have that money down the line. He's going to be able to buy anything that he wants to buy. So there is no reason why you want to go after a man because of his physical looks. When choosing a man to marry, ladies, we have to apply mind over matter. You have to be able to look beyond the now and the physical. I'm not saying that you should not um, look for a man who is attractive. Yes, before you even started talking to this man, right? You found him attractive. But then down the line, you notice that, oh, he's not even your spec because he doesn't have money. Because he's not tall. Because he's not short. Because he doesn't have blue eyes. Because he doesn't have six pack. Because he's not popular among people. Because he is not the outgoing type. Because he's not the one that drives a Ferrari. Because he's not the one that has a huge bank account. These are the things that make people down the line begin to regret why they did not choose that man that came 5, 10, 15 years ago to marry them. These are the kind of things that happen when you see a man that has been talking to you and then you ditch this man. He goes ahead and finds somebody else that was able to see beyond the now and the physical and then choose him and they work together to become something. Then you become jealous and you start regretting like, oh, that man was talking to me before. Yeah, he was talking to you before and so what? You did not say yes to him. Some other person found value in this man. Some other woman found that this man is a man that has potential. This man is a man that has depth. This man is a man that is going somewhere. So they decided to stick to this man and work with this man and become better people down the line. The only thing that you can do at that point in time is to better yourself. Is to be able to keep aside all those fantasies. Because yes, those are fantasies. Those are not the kind of things that are going to make your marriage great. These are not the kind of things that are going to pay the bills in your home. These are not the things that are going to make you fulfilled. Because if you're only looking at a man on his physical aspect, if you're only looking at a man on his financial aspect, then there comes a time in the home that you're not even able to communicate with this man. Because some men are arrogant in such a way that if you do not contribute to who they are today, they will never value you. They will never treat you right. Because they can tell you anything at any time because you were not there in their low moment. You were not there when they were toiling. When I talk about that, I'm talking about character. I'm talking about a man that has purpose. A man who is driven. A man who knows how to love a woman correctly. A man who is family oriented. That is what I mean by a man that has depth because another thing that we may say is you will see a woman and this man is battering her this man is showing her that he doesn't love her this man is cheating on her this man is doing every bad thing that you can think of but the woman is stuck to him like glue and when you ask oh why are you stuck to this man oh my goodness i cannot leave this man the sex is so good are you kidding me now when choosing a man to marry, you cannot choose a man because the sex is good. That is not a priority. It is good to be sexually compatible with the person that you want to marry. But sex can be taught. Because if you're with somebody solely because of sex, that is a wrong factor that you're basing your decisions upon. That is the wrong foundation. It is a good thing, yes. It is good for you to be compatible, yes. But that's not the only thing that you have to see in the man. There are many things that you can see in this man. Because your soul is more important than your physical looks. If you end up marrying a man that is not treating you right, a man that does not support you, a man that 
you're not even able to talk to you'll be miserable in that home and that is not what you want and when you're miserable in your home your kids will be miserable as well so you have to be really wise when choosing a man to marry know the difference between the things that you can buy and the things that you can offer very important be the kind of woman that is patient enough to hold a man's hand be the kind of woman that is patient enough to work with somebody for a common goal because don't be the kind of woman that you just want to be with a man because of his status don't be the kind of woman that wants to be with a woman with a man because of all he got you will not be treated right most women they fail at relationships they fail in their marriages because of the choices that they make because they went into that marriage for the wrong reasons you have to marry a man and not a boy you have to marry a man and how will you know that this man is a man for you if this man loves you you will know he will show you that he loves you it is what his bond does he say things and do them don't just be with somebody who just keep talking and talking and talking and is not doing anything because the result of something is seen from action it is not seen from words if he says he's going to do this and he does and that's the kind of man that you can be with choose a man that supports you because there are many men who are threatened by a woman's success if a man is with you and he is not able to support you that's not a man that you want to marry because he is going to be so insecure down the line that he will not want you to succeed so a man that supports your dreams not just a man that will just be giving you money giving you money all the time and when you want to try to bring up something valuable he tells you no baby just leave that aside i'm going to go ahead and do it because i have the money no he should be able to feed your dreams he should be able to support you to get what you want to get out of your life to get that for women as a woman because he should train you to be able to get these things for yourself because if he's not there tomorrow you'll be able to stand on your feet so go for a man that supports you go for a man that treats other people right not just treating you right because if a man only knows how to treat you right that is not his character he is just portraying it just because he wants to get you the way he treats the waiter the way he treats people that are beneath him the way he treats people that can never do anything good for him or cannot pay him back that is the kind of man that you want to go mind over matter ladies mind over matter you have to put this at the back of your mind because it's very important that you chose the right man to marry because whoever you marry is going to determine the course of your life 90% because this is the person that you will sleep with this is the person that you wake up next to this is the person that you have kids with this is the person that you will make a life with you do not want to make the wrong decision because these um priorities that we put on our fantasies this high rank that we give to our fantasies this high rank that we pay this attention that we pay to money it's not what is going to help us. Money is good, yes. But that should not be your priority when choosing a man to marry. Because if this man, if you like the kind of man that smells good, it is just perfume that makes him smell good. That can't be bought with money. That is why I said when you're looking for a man, look for a man that has things that money cannot buy. Because technology has advanced so well today that Men are even getting six packs without going to the gym. Yes, it is possible. They are getting bicep and triceps without going to the gym. They are looking far because they are able to afford it. All those things that you're thinking in your head, all those dreams that you're having, that is something that you'll be able to buy down the line. That is why it is very important that if you see a man that is struggling, if you see a man that is going somewhere, go that place with that man. Support him. Be with him. That way you can be able to work together and buy all the things that you want to buy. Just look at what is happening out there. If you want any kind of woman, you can get. If you want a one with the big boobs, you can get it. If you want a, want a big ass, you can get it because those things are being bought. So say for example that a man wanted to marry a woman and all he looked was that fine girl that he was seeing, that woman that is very pretty and that's all she had to offer. 
then you go into the house with this woman and she doesn't have debt what are you gonna do with her but say you got married to a woman that doesn't have all these things those physical aspects down the line she can buy them or you can buy them for her the problem nowadays is that women just want a ready-made man you have to understand that life often doesn't give us what we ask for it gives us someone to develop to what we ask for because if you think that you will always get what you ask for then you're thinking wrong if you think that you will get what you ask for without working then you thought wrong because you have to enjoy the process of being with someone that you can work with towards a common goal when a man holds your hand and all you can feel is jitters and butterflies and he makes you shiver that is not a time to get married to that man but if a man holds your hand and you feel safe you feel secure you feel loved you feel reassured that is the man that you want to marry thank you so much for watching today's video please do not forget to hit that subscribe button also hit the notification bell that way you know when we have new uploads and please share this video with your friends thank you guys and have a fab one see you on the next video bye Thank mm -hmm. you.